When they hear the words climate change or global warming, the only thing many people think of is Al Gore and an inconvenient truth. Many people are under the impression that there is a lot of scientific debate about whether or not climate change is caused by human activity. They may have heard that there is another side to the story, that there is just as much evidence for climate change being natural or even non-existent. Global warming is quite a controversy in the general public, but is it really so controversial among scientists? We can't expect to analyze all those graphs ourselves, at least not without making some big mistakes. So it's our best bet to listen to what the scientists have to say. In early 2009, Peter Doran from the University of Illinois along with his grad student, Maggie Zimmerman, conducted a peer-reviewed poll of scientists regarding their opinion on climate change. First, Doran and Zimmerman asked the scientists if the Earth was warming. Of the publishing climatologists, 96.2% said it was. Then the scientists were asked if the climate was being significantly affected by humans. This time, 97.4% said it was. As you can see, there are two sides to the theory of global warming. Remember that 3%? But they are not two equal sides. Among those who understand the scientific basis of the theory, individuals who claim the warming is natural or non-existent are the extreme minority. There is really no doubt that global warming is principally caused by human activities. Yes, the climate system is very complex. There's a great deal of year-to-year, decade-to-decade variation in the mean global temperature by natural processes. But the only way to account for the global warming that has occurred, especially over the last 50 years, is by taking into account the changes that humans have made to the atmosphere, the addition of greenhouse gases. There are a few skeptics out there who question the integrity of the science behind these claims, but the truth is that the overwhelming majority of atmospheric scientists are in full agreement that global warming can only be explained by human activities. Several years earlier, a scientific historian named Naomi Oreskes had conducted a similar study which surveyed peer-reviewed scientific articles instead of the scientists themselves. Almost 1,000 articles published between 1993 and 2003 were examined. 75% of the articles either explicitly or implicitly stated that humans were the cause of the observed warming. The remaining 25% did not mention the cause as they dealt with subjects where the cause of recent climate change was irrelevant, such as changes in climate millions of years ago. Zero of the articles argued that climate change was not caused by human activity. As of 2007, no professional scientific organization in the world has publicly disputed the mainstream opinion that humans are causing climate change. But the most credible sources available to us are actually scientific organizations such as NASA their names hold more respect than anyone else in the field of science. Here is a list of scientific organizations that have issued statements saying that humans are causing the earth to warm. And, to be fair, here is a list of scientific organizations 
which say humans are not causing the earth to warm. There are none. As of 2007, no professional scientific organization in the world has publicly disputed the mainstream opinion that humans are causing climate change. Now, this doesn't mean that climate change is definitely happening. Nobody is infallible, and there is always a chance that a hundred years of physics could be proved wrong. But when there is this much agreement on a scientific issue, you can bet that there is some pretty good evidence for the theory. So, as you can see, climate change isn't just Al Gore's problem. It's much, much more. <laughs>